Ilan lamang ito sa mga inineklara ni Dr. Cindy Jacobs, world-renowned prophet at founder of Generals International sa nakaraang establishing the Philippines Prophetic Destiny Conference na ginanap sa The Arena San Juan. Ayon pa kay Jacobs, ang taong 2010 ay magiging pagpapala para sa Pilipinas. Bagay na silang ayunan ng iba pang mga tagapagsalita sa konferensyang iyon. Our declaration for the Philippines is that there's going to be a change of season. This nation has been suffering for a long time, but prayers has been uh, uh, offered up to the Lord for the past 20 years. And I believe uh, uh, the Lord will be opening the heavens in His mercy for our nation. God can change the nation. It's a process. But as long as there are people praying, as long as there are people in the church willing to empower the young ones, to recognize the young ones, encourage the young ones, uh, to rise up to the position of power and influence, with the right values, the blessing for the, for the nation. Taugnay nito, ipinahayag ni Brother Eddie Villanueva, Ministry Director of Jesus is Lord Church, na layunin ng pagtitipo na ito na ipaalam sa mga Pilipino ang magandang plano ng Panginoon para sa bansa. Layunin ng uh, establishing uh, prophetic destiny of the Philippines uh, Conference ay gisingin ang diwa at uh, ang pananampalataya ng sambay ng Pilipino na mayroong dakilang plano ang Diyos sa ating bansa. Ang bansa ng Pilipinas ay hindi manatiling mahirap, hindi manatiling uh, corrupt, kung hindi matransform bilang isang bansa na masagana, prosperous, mapayapa ang buhumuhin ng mga tao, at may dangal at puri sa mata ng mundo. Sa kabila ng economic crisis na dinadanas ng buong bansa, Nais ipaabot ni Dr. Jacobs ang pangako ng Panginoon. In the midst of these trying times, many of us begin to feel absolutely overwhelmed. And, you know, depression tries to come on us and, and sorrow. But I want to say to you that as a prophet, I've been to many countries of the world, and I have great hope. I have great hope that help us on the way for the Philippines, not only for you, but for your children. You know, it is not God's will for people to be hungry. It is not God's will for people not to be able to pay their bills. So I want to tell you, even though today things look hopeless, your tomorrow is bright. Malaking pag-asa natin, una sa lahat, talagang maraming nananalangin kristyano. Number one, ako kasi sa araw-araw na ginawa ng Panginoon, meron kaming donuts sa tuwing umaga, talagang pinag-pray natin, namin ang, ang, ang ating bansa. No matter what, we've always believed that this nation will rise to its prophetic destiny. No? Uh, ang importante lang is that we continue to really herald it. No? We continue to, to just talagang forcefully not be driven um, to that vision. We should seize our destiny as a nation. That we should not lay low, that we should not huwag nating hayaan na mapunta na lang sa wala. Ang lahat po ng sinabi ng mga propeta at mga tao ng Diyos, pakinggan natin at isagawa natin. Sa pagkatapos ng unang araw ng prophetic conference, ipinaalam ni Dr. Jacobs ang pananaw ng Panginoon sa bansang Pilipinas. Philippines is like the pearl of great price. What does that mean? Um, you know, how is a pearl created? Through irritation. It's harder to try to keep it. My husband. You'd add it. So I want to say to you, out of the Philippines, God is going to use you to reach the world for Jesus Christ. You will be known as a treasure. People will say to the Filipino people, oh, you're so privileged. You come from the Philippines. I can't believe you live on those beautiful islands in that place. I want to say to you, you are a pearl also. You are God's pearl of great price. He gave His Son for you because you were so precious. Amen. Babangon ng Pilipinas. Tawa yung katain, tsaka hindi aksidente na we are known, we have been known as the pearl right. of the Orient. And you know, Cindy Jacob didn't know that. Cindy, she didn't know that. It's God who told her that the Philippines is indeed a pearl of great prize. We're a treasure. And saka, to rise up, to fulfill our calling, our mandate. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not an accident that our nation is called the Philippines. Philippines after Philip the Evangelist. That's right. So, right now, we 
instead of yung sinabi ni, ni Carla kanina, we need to herald that, we need to speak mm -hmm. that. Instead of speaking discouragement, complain, no. Speak encouragement right. over our nation. Speak a blessing. Right. Speak words that will build up our nation, our leaders, our land. Why? We have a blessed nation. You know, there's no nationality in all the world as uniquely gifted with talents and abilities like the Filipinos. And the proof of that is this. We are sought after all over the world. You tell me, which nationality is more sought after? We are to be thankful to God for creating Filipinos with that uniqueness. Sobrang, uh, the most adjustable, mm -hmm. diba? The right. most adjustable We can blend in and out. We're non-threatening. Oh, That's why we're so acceptable. Mas kina anong circumstance, mag-a-adjust ang Pinoy. That's right. The Pinoy is blessed. The Philippines is a blessed nation. And we want to pray right now for our our country, our leaders, our people, we have a destiny and we want the Lord to cause us to walk that path, to walk to our destiny. Let's pray.